Hey everyone, it's Barbara Teckel. I thought I'd do things a little bit different this week for the um, animal, uh, the animal wisdom oracle reading and guidance session. So I had posted this photo of three different cards on my Facebook page at Joyful Paws, Paws is P-A-U-S-E, um, asking um, those who wanted to pose a question and then pick a card pick one, two, or three, and then I would um, answer with that animal's message to help you with the question that you are pondering. So if you want to just take a moment, if you didn't see the Facebook uh, page post, um, just take a moment and think about your question. You can always stop this video and ponder that question for a moment, and then pick one, pick card one, two, or three. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the cards and um, share that particular message for the card that you picked for this week. So I'm working with the spirit of the animal oracle. Um, I think you can see that by Colette Baron reed one of my favorite animal oracle decks. So if you pick card number one, it is Dear Spirit, and it is number 18. Bring a gentle touch. So whatever question that you're pondering or the challenge that you're facing, I really see this card as bringing a gentle touch to yourself personally um, and being kind to yourself and being gentle with yourself. I think so often when we're, you know, in the middle of a difficult situation or something that we feel challenged by, we have the tendency to, you know, have this inner voice within us that you know, is beating us up for not knowing, maybe not knowing the answer, or knowing the correct way to move through a situation. So Deer is just asking for you to trust that your path is being revealed. And um, also Deer is very adept at using so many of their different senses um, and using all of their senses. You know, their sense of smell, their sense of sight, their sense of hearing in order to stay safe in the world and um you know to find find the food that they need to eat and um you know find the resources that they need so again the message on the bottom says bring a gentle touch which again i think is a great reminder that when you are going through a tough situation or you just don't know the answer to something you know be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself and and know that the answer will reveal itself in time and um you know, don't have that inner dialogue with yourself that you're not good enough or you should know the answer, but just be gentle and that will allow the answer to come to the surface and to guide you. Isn't that such a sweet and beautiful card? I love that card. All right, so if you pick number two, the animal messenger for you this week, ooh, beautiful, white raven spirit, trust in the magic, number 66. So the white raven, that's quite rare, um, quite rare for us to see, right? You know, I don't know a lot about raven, and being that it is a white raven, I'm going to turn to the to the um, to the guidance book, and I'm going to just check out what this has to say. That's what I'm feeling called to do because I'm not exactly sure, and I want this to be able to serve you in a positive way this week if you pick number two. All right, so White Raven Spirit says, Nothing in the universe is random, for the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences have meaning, and White Raven Spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities. I'm going to hold this card up so you can see it. So pay attention to these synchronicities so that they might, so that you might recognize patterns. I think I'm just take a moment here. So often when there's something we're struggling with, we often have these blinders on um, because we're caught up in this mental state of thinking, thinking, thinking that we don't realize that the world around us is providing us these synchronicities to help us with the answer that we're feeling challenged by. So the guidebook goes on to say, even the winds dance in a pattern, participating in the magic of spirit's plan for all. 
And White Raven, Raven is saying, align with the highest good in intentions, and you will come to see what that White Raven is guiding you. That White Raven's an ally to you and a messenger from spirit. So align with the light, and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eyes can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic, and you will see the hand of great spirit arranging things in your favor. So again, that's kind of what I said, you know, as uh, halfway through reading what the guidebook has to offer is, you know, when we get caught up in that mental state, we can't see that, you know, there's oracles all around us at all times trying to help guide us and sending us messages um, as to the right path we should take or to help us with the question that we're pondering. So if you pick number two, the white raven spirit, trust in the magic. You know, and when I think of the word magic, I really think about trust in the guidance that is there for us. Um, we just have to tap into it. All right, so number three is in uh, the protection mode, um, which that's what it's called in this deck is called protection, which means the card is in reverse. So I'm going to turn it upright. This is a powerful animal. Reclaim your power, Panther Spirit, number 44. Look at the eyes. Oh my gosh, I am totally drawn into the eyes of this panther. How can you not be? There is a ton of profound power behind those eyes. So when I look at the message of reclaim your power, and if you pick number three, where is it you've given your power away? That's what the Panther Spirit is asking you um, as you are you know, whatever challenge you are facing or whatever situation you are pondering, where is it you're giving your power away? And Panther Spirit is, is pleading with you and showing you through his eyes. Well, pro probably not pleading, but those are some powerful eyes to be drawn into and to really contemplate where have I given my power away and, and, and encouraging you to take your power back. And so often when we take our power back, that's when clarity comes for our lives. And, you know, the panther is such, really such a strong, powerful, courageous animal. And I, again, I'm going to just turn to the guidebook to see if there's any more guidance for those that pick number three. So again, the card number is 44. And it's the protection message. So um, this deck is broken down into the oracle message and then the protection message. So again, Panther Spirit. And I am just looking at this to see what jumps out at me. Yeah, to, to share more fully with you. So in regards to taking your power back, where are you, where are you coming from a place of fear? And is fear holding you back? in um you know in the question that you're pondering and that you know if fears in the way are having a hard time you know making a decision and then also it talks about failure you know so often i think that's what happens too is we're afraid to fail but when you know even in failure we learn something there's a lesson in there also And I love the last line of the guidebook that says, Spirit trusts you, so be brave and trust yourself. And isn't that the truth? That's why we're here. That's why we're walking this earth and learning the lessons that we're learning to not only trust in that higher power, however you define that, but also just as importantly to trust in ourselves and to know that um, we have what it takes within us um, to live the life that we want. So I hope that was helpful. Again, number one is, if you chose number one, it's Deer Spirit, Bring a Gentle Touch. Number two is White Raven Spirit, Trust in the Magic. And if you chose number three, Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. All right, that's it for this week. Have a great week, and I will be back again next week. Take good care. Bye-bye.